Good morning. Flash is absolutely faster than Sonic. Why would someone even ask that stupid question? Fire him. I don't I don't want him. We're back. Took a week off. We're an action figure show. With a little more. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about McFarlane Toys The Flash Rebirth. That's literally what the name of the toy is. We're gonna talk about it. But first. Trying to tell y'all niggas Barney got that clip. Y'all ain't hearing me out. You trying to shoot? Oh, yes, please. All right, here you go. It's your stupid ass. Here we go. 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 You thought I was finna dap your ass? I'm finna roast your stupid ass right now. With your cantaloupe head ass, lumpy melon head head ass, lumpy pumpkin head ass, bumpy basketball head ass, this nigga head ass, orange peel, no orange, have an ass, orange sharpie head ass, butter baked sweet potato built ass, Theodore head ass, honey boo boo mom face ass, the PBJ out of beaver face ass, Ronda Rousey face ass, chicken cutlet head ass, raisin cane chicken with the sauce built ass, Tyson crispy buffalo chicken strip head ass, dinosaur chicken nugget built ass, we're back at dinosaur story head ass, land before time head ass. Anyways, you hooping nigga? Got this cool move I've been working on. If you want to see the rest of that clip, check my boy out, Pat Quinn. The identifying information here. Follow him, subscribe. He is absolutely hilarious. Now, without further ado, McFarlane Toys, The Flash. <laughs> why did I? Why did? The Flash includes lightning bolt effects. A flash card and a stand. And these include all the Flash's accessories. McFarlane Toys Flash Rebirth. The articulation starting from the head up, down, horizontal. Good horizontal. Good joints. You can do cool things with it. I like it. Up and down. Shoulder. You can see it has the butterfly. But we have the butterfly shoulders right here. Bam, look at that. And then we have the ball, round, up and down, all around. Bicep swivel, it's tight. I wouldn't twist it all the way. You have the double elbows. You have the torso, it's a ball joint in there. Good twist, torso. And at the waist, you have the same thing. And this is a good twist, and they're tight. Good tight joints. And then you have the hip connection not a ball it's, it looks like some kind of square you can get a good twist in a leg in the thigh from the thigh we have the double knee and then we go down we have the ball which is the same as the wrist got the ball hinge it hinges so they're doing the same thing there and twist and that's your articulation of the Flash. So with all that being said, let's talk about this figure. I absolutely love the scope of this figure. I love how, even though the paint, it's not like a heavy paint app, it's really simple, but the lines in it, I love how that sculpted it instead of painting on, or even, I'm glad that they even bothered putting those in there. And it just, it's a testament to the details we get from McFarlane Toys. I'm not, I'm not mad at the articulation of this Flash figure. I mean, you pick them up and I can put them in my hand and just move them around and there's constantly these different cool Flash poses you can put them in. Of course, it's the Flash, so you're gonna always make them run. But even standing, this is a, it's a good silhouette. And I, I like this, I like this figure. As much as I like this figure, I do have notes, let's call them that. I wasn't particularly fond of the hands. I don't, I don't like how the hands, the fists are very tight and it looks weird to me. And the other running hand, it's the finger is so spread out 
it's weird. Of course, you can make it work. I mean, if you're a if you're an action figure photographer, it's all about the angles. And if you're a guy, if you just want a flash figure, it's not gonna bother you. But again, I I love the art of action figures, so that's where I'm coming from. But I also had issues with this with the emblem. It's all clunky how it sticks out on the chest. You almost want to shave it down. If you have something abrasive, you kind of it it. it I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't care for it. Another big issue that I had with this figure was the packaging. He was in a running pose, and when you get him out of the packaging, it warps this, this hip part. So you have this like, it's bulging out, and that's not good, I don't, I don't want that. First of all, if you're a Flash person, if you like love the character The Flash, and you have all different types of Flash action figures, I highly recommend this figure. It's probably one of the best flashes of all times that we've gotten up to date. I'm gonna say that. McFarlane Toys doesn't care about scale. <laughs> or any other character that's not Batman. I get it. If I got the keys to the kingdom, you guys are getting a shitload of Cyclops figures. <laughs> Every version of him. That's, I'm, I'm keeping it real. And we all know Todd McFarlane He's a goddamn Batman stan. Like, he's a big fan of Batman. And I get it, and I'm not taking anything away. I don't know how, this, how the waves are planned. And that kinda, that's affecting the way I'm gonna collect these action figures. I, initially I got on board, I got all those figures except the movie Arrow. I just don't like, I don't like the show Arrow. As I take this right now, McFarlane Toys just announced this cool ass Gorilla Grodd and this cool Flash. Both, I, I want it immediately. I'm not even gonna lie. They're beautiful figures. I just wish they, they, they honed in more on exactly what we want. Because honestly, we want, we want a whole Justice League. I, it's cool. The Batman thing, I'm a Batman fan. I, I'm, it's, I'm a prep time guy. <laughs> I am that dude. <laughs> so, I get it. But we want more figures than every variation of Batman. We do female figures amazingly. Can we get some more female characters? Can we get some more characters of color? Females? Come on, bro. Like, you have... Can I get a Vixen? Can we get an Aquaman? I, I want a, a in scale. I want some figures in scale. That's, that doesn't feel like a lot to ask for. And I get it. They're successful. People are they're flying off the shelf. No one cares. But I care. I care. You know what I mean? Like, so, they're not, they're not all flying off the shelf because I'm not buying them. And it's obvious that I collect. I'm gonna get, of course, I'm still get. <laughs> I'm gonna do remember the Thundercast thing. I was like, oh, I'm not getting that. But I, yeah, I'm gonna get a few of these. I'm gonna dip in and out of the line because I love the, the White Knight series. And they're all in scale. They all feel like they're the same. They're in the same world. Todd, I leave you with this. Scale. Please start considering the scale characters. Another Batman? Literally, people are across them. And I get it. Some of those characters, you're like, whatever. I'm not going to make a, a salad man or whatever. Some of these goofy people are suggesting. <laughs> but I'm at the point, someone said the Wonder Twins, and I'm like, is there a Batman version of the Wonder Twins? Because the way this line is going, I doubt we'll ever see those. I want to see some dope, obscure figures, man. You got me with that Gorilla Grodd, though. I'm not gonna front on you. With the gold, uh, put, post that, put that picture up. It's beautiful, look at that flash. It's from the Injustice. And I love the Injustice comics. <laughs> oh yes, you got me, bro. Played. Well played, sir. And that's it, Tom. Come on. That is the end of the show from our week hiatus. Hey, stand by Monday. We got a, another episode of Saturday morning. We're gonna talk about those Hellfire Club figures. So yeah, we turning out the content for you. So guys, please, like, subscribe, and share. This is, this is gold, people. This is gold. This is an action figure talk that you want. Me. I'm here for you. Yes. Mr. Shine. I 
leave you with, you're collecting action figures. It's supposed to be fun.